saver or saver towards a goal, and you must have what? Yeah. Huh? Where you well, FLAME stands for Financial Literacy and Micro-Enterprise. So it's a financial literacy program and then coupled to financial literacy we are teaching community members and people who have small businesses and people who are wanting to maybe start and grow a business how to actually go about taking that business, starting it, growing it and trying to make it sustainable. So at the end of the day we're wanting to help communities generate income and maybe even job development to develop skills and also create jobs for other people within their communities. We also felt that we needed to bring an element of hope, especially to the communities that we were dealing with. We found that there was a huge element of learned helplessness, where people feel that they are trapped in their situation, in their surroundings. And this program was to try and answer that. The program was rolled out in Soshanguve in Amanskral and Kharankua, and we also went to the northwest, where we went to Tlabane, we went to Ledekh, and we also went to Pukeng. The program was divided into three phases. We had the financial literacy program, we had the micro-enterprise boot camp, and then we also had the micro-enterprise incubation phases. How safe are more same account to LO we swipe on every day? That's why I'm going to a separate account, again, a savings account. Phase one of the program, which is a financial literacy component, that was rolled out in September 2016. And it looked at addressing two components. The one, we focused on the financial literacy skills, which included topics such as being able to manage your own debt, uh, being able to differentiate between needs and wants, being able to also understand the importance of budgeting and saving as well. Financial literacy phase it on tusa kahore how gradualete e e o gradualete gore o khona go spend a pile and then tsantso itse gore tsantso se ifele le future. What I've learned about finance from taking this course is that we need to invest more. Um, we don't invest enough in property, we don't invest enough in our education, and we don't invest enough in business as well. I do feel like most of us are meant to be employers as opposed to employees. So it's about time that we actually became community builders instead of expecting things to be done for us. For you to be a business person, Sanzo Ovalele, focus. The second component looked at instilling hope and that part looked at uh, introducing soft skills. And those soft skills spoke to things such as how do we communicate with our family about money, but also to look at how one can also learn to appreciate and learn to love themselves. Sometimes people don't know what qualities they have in them uh, to do stuff. So what we were trying to do is to expose to them that they have it in them. So they've got those qualities in them to be entrepreneurs. As, as much as we are holding hands like this. What we want to achieve is that we want to be untangled. It's about having one goal, all of us, in a team. Now, you remember we had a problem, solution. What we're going to now, link your problem and solution to your customers. Phase two of the program is the micro-enterprise bootcamp. The initial target was 300. It was able, the project was able to attract 272 participants. These participants were taken through a grueling nine to 12 weeks of intense learning about how to put together a business plan. They were first introduced to how to qualify a business idea and how to match that business idea to the community needs. The session today, it's about knowing your customer. Definitely this session, it really, really changed a lot on the way I can look at my customers. Firstly, I targeted only women, and then now it showed me that I have to target female, male, older people, and younger people. The program went as far as also introducing the operational side of business, where participants were taken through how to market their businesses, and also it took them through the financial aspects in terms of how to cost their products and how to work out their margins. This session has empowered me a lot because now I know as a businessman what to do and what not to do. At the 
end of that second phase, the participants were then um, invited to come and pitch their business ideas to a panel. Pitching is, is in a sense um, getting other people inspired by what inspired you already. So uh, when you're pitching, your task is to motivate the people who are listening to see your vision and to see where you're going. Some people got it right today. They came with passion, they managed to convince judges and uh, got the budget judges to buy into their stories. And that's what pitching is about. And everything went well. Then those guys inside there, they gave me advices, and they also told me that I must just forget about Hamaskar. I'm just, they're just gonna grow my business bigger. Overseas, that's where I'm going now. Our hope is that we're going to shatter the 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 stat that always, that's always quoted about the number of the startup businesses who fail. You know, we really want to uh, be able to challenge that and say actually you can go from a dream provided you've got sufficient support, the right type of support, to actually being a success and at a, at a, at a larger scale and that's what we, we're aiming to achieve. The third phase of the program is the micro enterprise incubation. It extended over a nine month period. And it was over that nine month period, we had attracted 10 participants per region. In total, we had 30 businesses that went through into the incubation phase. Each business was paired up with the coach, and the coach will make contact with each business at least twice a month, uh, where they will physically go and visit the participants. Each business was then um, taken through all the elements of managing a business. The best training that works with new entrepreneurs is actually being real, over and above everything. Besides being a coach and coming to teach someone about business, you actually have to have a relationship with them. They must know you, you must know them, and only then you are actually able to tap into their needs, what they want, what is it that they're trying to get in life. And with that being said, then you can work collectively with the entrepreneur to ensure that they fulfill their dream together with yours. The program is extremely useful. I mean, um, not only in terms of me meeting a whole lot of people, but with tailor-made assistance for me. I mean, from the beginning of the program, it was about me and the business. When you bring in new techniques of conducting business, she easily eases up into them and she easily implements them. So I have brought in a, a whole lot of new things, new ways of doing stuff. The importance of having a mentor is you have a person who's able to look at your business from a macro and a micro element, which now gives you a much clearer picture than just you on your own. And more importantly, um, the mentor was a person who would hold them accountable for the decisions that they've made for that particular month. One of the things that uh, Aziza helped on, they arranged us to have a bookkeeper, whereby, you know, we got to know how to draw balance sheets, you know, you got to know how to draw income statement and stuff and it's it's one of the things that I didn't know and I didn't know the importance of so it helped a lot. <laughs> Today is uh, the closeout event for the FLAME program, so the incubators are graduating from the incubation phase. And I want to once again acknowledge the entrepreneurs. It's been a wonderful journey and may you go from strength to strength. Without FLAME there wouldn't be you know, where they are, and beyond being where they are, their perception of life has changed holistically. I put into, pra into practice what we were taught uh, throughout the incubation. You know, I didn't take the incubation light uh, because of I could see the, the benefit of it, and I took into practice on that, and then the odd results made me to be a winner. I believe the youngest, first youngest black person to actually occupy 
such an establishment at such a resort, a global resort. So, um, yeah, I believe I'm a change maker.